In this tutorial, I am going to show all the secrets of the rig player, the unique TA2 component able to replicate captured rigs into your sound chain. A rig model is a capture of a guitar setup, including the amplifier, the cabinet, the microphone, the ambience and the microphone preamp. It's like a picture of the setup with those particular settings. You can load that setup capture into THU by using the rig player. If you're familiar with other hardware modelers, you can think of the rig player as the M plus EQ plus cab section or as the capture slot. The rig player allows to browse the entire collection of the rig models. They are divided in libraries and each library typically contains from 30 to 300 captures with different amps, cabs and microphone combinations. You can load a rig by double-clicking on it. Like any other THU model, in order to use the rig player, you need to drag it into the THU sound chain. You can also add stomp boxes and effects before and after the rig player, like you do with any other amp model. The rig player is mainly divided in two sections. On the right, you have the cabinet section and on the left you have amp section. You can switch on and off each section. For example, you can switch off the embedded cabinet and add a stock cabinet after the rig player, like this. Or you can mix two rig models and load the amplifier of one rig and the cabinet of a different one, like this. In the amp section, you have all the main controls of a typical amplifier. The drive, the tone control, the presence and the volume. In addition, you can further tweak the tone using the upper controls. The definition knob acts like a top booster. It's mainly used on crunch and lead tones if the distortion sounds muddy. If you decrease the definition, the distortion will sound more like a fuzz, where the bass frequencies are more saturated. If you raise the definition, the distortion will sound more modern. <laughs> The power sag knob allows to change the amount of the amp power sagging effect. When a power amp is heavily saturated, the power supply cannot provide enough power to the output and the tone becomes even more saturated and compressed. This is typical of the low power and vintage amps. The compression knob increases the sustain of the tone and is particularly useful with clean and light crunch tones. The clarity knob controls how the mid frequencies are saturated. When the knob is at minimum position, the mid frequencies are more overdriven and the distortion has more presence like the 80s and early 90s high gain tones. 
When you increase the clarity, the bass and the treble will begin to distort more and the tone is more balanced on its entire spectrum. <laughs> The tube shape and tube bias controls have a subtle effect on the harmonics on particularly pushed clean tones, so you won't clearly hear them on super clean or distorted sounds. The direct mix control adds the direct sound source before the rig player, so it's useful for bass players and for guitar tones where we need to preserve a clean attack over a tone that has been processed inside the rig player. Currently, there are more than 15,000 different rig captures, divided into more than a hundred libraries created by selected sound designers like Chop Tones, Michael Nielsen, The Amp Factory and Live Ready Sounds. Each library comes with a collection of captured rigs and a set of presets created by adding effects to the rigs in the library. You can visit the rig library section on Overloud website to discover the entire collection of rigs.